Hello again, my GoPro, at least for now, the audio is working. Uh, went out today, it's Labor Day by the way, went out today and uh, got tried to get some like b-roll footage of me on the bike. I don't think I really got anything good because I don't have a proper tripod and I'm using a GoPro to try and get these. So I mean, how could how good can it actually be? But it's it's something, and whether I use it, I who knows? I mean, I gra I recorded it for the point of using it, but I don't know if I actually will. It's been stormy all day. What a lovely Labor Day! I didn't have work, even though I would have rather worked today to get the extra money, but I don't really have a choice. Uh, the weather has been crap this weekend. It's been, Saturday was fine, I recorded, well tried to record Saturday and shit did not go well. Uh, yesterday, Sunday, it was rain basically all day with some good thunderstorms, including one lightning strike that um, I'm pretty sure was about half a mile from my place, if not closer, because it was, da it was instantaneous when I heard the thunder from it, and it was insanely bright. Sadly, I have no idea where it actually was, but after that, I did hear several, and I do mean several emergency vehicles, drive by my apartment complex, because I had the window open the entire time. You know, try and cool my room, room off. Yesterday was crappy. Today is cloudy, dark, dreary. I had a little bit of sprinkles when I was out in the country trying to grab a clip for like a few seconds and that was it. Just enough to notice very fine mist on my visor. That was it. I didn't even feel it on my neck or anything. My neck is exposed. It doesn't have anything covering it. I was in the parking lot because I just got done doing some shopping that I should have done Saturday when I was out, but I didn't. I needed some bananas for breakfast and uh, I needed what else was it? I needed super glue to um, probably try and mount something else on my helmet because the last super glue I used for my mic adapter was several years old. It hadn't been opened yet, but it was it was several years old, and I hope that it will stay. But I don't expect it to stay forever. And I was kind of limited on uh, what I could actually, what area I could super glue. So I might try and reinforce it with a pack that is reusable and not a one-time use and isn't several years old. I ended up buying a two and a half pound thing of honey roasted peanuts because I kind of need some snack foods to go along with like a small sandwich for lunch so I can make something quick when I get off of work. Just make some quick food, throw some peanuts in there, throw some peanut butter pretzels I get from my work for in bulk for cheap. Uh, bought two things of uh, cans of chili for cheap-ish. So I have those for like meals now, I, even though I only have a couple. So I got two pounds of bananas in my bag, two and a half pounds of peanuts, two cans of chili, so I assume that they're, uh, they're probably half a pound each. And I got that soup glue, which obviously isn't anything. And I have a small bottle of bottled water I always carry on, carry on me just in case I need it. So I got a heavy backpack. So this is fun, traveling at 40 miles an hour down the road, just weaving left and right, enjoying my night. I don't think I'll, you know, I don't know. I was about to say, I don't think I'll make it back before it's dark, but who knows. Strength is not optional. Well, depends. Depends on the situation, because sometimes you can have enough strength, but you choose not to. Just kind of depends. Or you could, uh, you know, work out. And then strength is, I mean, I guess it's optional there. You choose to work out, but that, that was, that billboard, it was for AARP. I don't know what that has to do with anything. You ever just driving at night and you wonder, why do certain restaurants have certain like colors on their buildings? Like there was a purple there. This Papa Dell's has red around it. I'm like, what? Why? I mean, it looks nice. Don't get me wrong. It looks quite nice, to, especially at night to see that driving by. But like, 
What's the point? Also, this person has been like tailgating me for the past mile with very bright LED headlights, and I don't appreciate it. So they finally passed me, even though I'm still speeding. I like how I can speed on a motorcycle and I will still have every person pass me. And I probably say this all the time, but it's just, it constantly happens every time I'm out. I will speed, there's always somebody going faster. There's always several people going faster, in fact. I always get stuck at this light, all, almost always, so uh, I'm just gonna turn right. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna find a workaround, even though I, I know a workaround. I just don't know if it realistically would be any quicker. So, yeah, let's uh, let's just go under this bridge. This seems like fun. Well, there used to be homeless people who uh, slept under here, but I think they caught on because the train station is right to the left. Uh, I think they caught on and they had problems with people walking and homeless people sleeping. And yeah, they got. I think they got booted out of there. You know what? Let's just take an odd way home tonight. Guy on a boosted board, I think. Like I said, I think. Oh, what are you doing, bud? That is one bright headlight. Holy crap! That that blinded me. Damn. It's not even dark out completely yet, and that one headlight still blinded the hell out of me. Oh, good green light. Nice, perfect. I will take it. Don't you dare fucking cross. Welcome to, I guess this is campus technically, but it's not a very active area, especially at this time of day. I guess this is more just like the apartment complexes. I've never really driven down this road, I don't think. If I have, it's been on a bicycle a long time ago. There's six, yeah, okay. Well, I know where I am. I know what road I'm coming on to, and if I want the fast way, I'll go to the left. If I want the content way, I'll go to the right. This person just gonna keep running? No? Okay. Well, I see flashing lights reflecting off of, uh... Or, no. I thought they were flashing lights. No, red and, uh, red and blue lights. No, they're from a building. They're not from a, um... From the... From police. Those lights right there, I thought they were red and blue from police. Now, also, this person's legally riding in the middle of the road. Like, thank you. All those people wearing the same color shirts, at least you see them, uh, at least you see them at night. Well, I unintentionally came to one of my favorite places of downtown. You can go ahead, person, you are on crosswalk. I unintentionally came to one of my favorite places of downtown, where we have... Cranert Center for the Performing Arts. See those purple lights up there? It's a wonderful photo op spot that I've never been to. And then you got this like old school downtown area uh, to straight and right. I could not see inside that bus, but he was waving me, but I was also waiting for the pedestrians. But this is one of my favorite areas, especially since I just found out two days ago when my mic failed about a new spot of this area too. And I'll drive straight down that, see what restaurants we got. We got a Dubai bar and grill, we got Cofusion. Uh, is this one way? No, it's not. Uh, let's see, we got that same Cofusion. We got Bob Plus, that's not food. We got a bar of some kind. We got a Suaboy. We got a Rosati's Pizza. We got barbecue chicken. We got coffee bene. We got Suaboy again. All these nice areas is the campus that I've never seen before. Because I never went down here. I never had a reason to go down this road while growing up. And then my still favorite spot, but uh, now just I have more favorite spots in this area. I think is right up here on the corner, on the right here. We got some, yeah, it's like a nice cafe place. Never been there. Nice cafe place that's connected to a barbershop and a Jimmy John's. You know, I can't complain with that. I, I'm fine with all that. I got long hair. I could use a 
haircut, even though I've never been to a barber in my entire life. I have no idea what's down here to the left. Let's find out. We got a Illinois chapter. I don't know if that's a like a dormitory building kind or what, but it's big and fancy. Somebody get themselves in some trouble. Got a tow truck hooked up to a car with a following car. Interesting. Somebody, somebody's vehicle said, nope, not today. I hope my bike doesn't do that. We have a, that church, which I was about to say is connected to this abandoned part. It isn't. The mall, that's not much of a mall, is connected to this like abandoned hotel here. I don't know what's up with it, but um, they have made it very clear about no trespassing and that uh, violators will be punished. Oh, there's nobody in the lane. I'm going to turn here, even though I'm not in the turn lane, but I don't care. But yeah, they have made it very clear that no trespassing in this building. Can I get in there? Can I get in there without paying? Like, I don't know, but yeah, that hotel, I think it's being renovated now or something. Somebody's working on it. But uh, this parking garage, I don't know. Oh, I guess I don't. My turn signal's still on. Well, we'll just do this then. We'll pull a Yui in the middle of the road. What can go wrong when I'm literally a block away from the courthouse? Yeah, nothing can go wrong there. I'm just curious uh, if I can go in here without paying. Which I think I can, because it looked like it was all meters. Either way, I mean, I can fit through. Yeah, everything's covered up, so everything's meters now. Okay, to go up, I'm technically supposed to go there. That's fine. I'll just drive around here for a little bit in the nice orange light. I mean, I'm just falling. What the hell is that? I don't know. Whoa. That curb came out of nowhere. Wow. That, uh, that could have went bad. That's why you always pay attention, even though I was paying attention to the thing that was in the middle of the road. Okay, this is a sharp turn up a hill, which I have no experience doing as I was on the wrong side of the road. Well, that's a uh, head in parking only. Whoa, compact. Whoa, it's fancy up here. Holy crap. I mean, I'm not doing anything wrong up here. I technically could park up here and then pay for it even though uh mobile meter yeah you have to still have to pay for all these sometimes parking garages have um free parking for motorcycles it's just kind of a thing there's no way you're going to be able to see over that so i'll just go over here and park real quick and i'm over revving a little bit because i'm in second gear and i'm like getting down to low miles an hour so i don't know if it's better that way or this way well, definitely not this way, because there's a tree in the way. Like I said, I'm over-revving. I'm in second gear. Oh, I'm not going to stay here for long. I think they can accept it. I won't even turn off my bike. How about that? If you haven't seen my bike, it's you can't even see it. It's in bad lighting. There's not much of a view up here. I mean, it's nice. You're on the second floor. There's the courthouse. I, that's it. It's nothing special. It really isn't. There's a giant parking lot over there. This is where we have like a uh, sweet corn festival every year that I haven't gone to in like three years now. Kind of sad. Even though the line for sweet corn is always like literally that road to the stoplight up there, which is probably quarter mile. It's always filled. It's always super long because you get free corn. You're a limited one though. Yeah, should probably get going. Probably get off this uh, place because I'm just sitting here talking to myself. A little crazy, I know. Well, I think that's a good place to end the video. Why not? So, hopefully you enjoyed. I'm going to go home and eat myself some dinner. And I shall see you next video. Or in another video, or whatever. Goodbye.